one surf from, from Israel, Anat Laylor. She will be surfing against Ainoa Lesiaga, uh, surfer from Andai, not far from here. Uh, Janiere Gonzalez uh, from Euskadi, Basque country. And uh, one Portuguese surfer, Mafalda Lopez. Gearing up, they're warming up. They've been, you know, free surfing, most of them. Uh, prior to that heat. Always important uh, to get a, a surf in before you hit Roma? Yes, especially early in the morning to warm up a little bit uh, the muscles and also getting ready in your head to, to, to get ready for the fight because those girls are frothing and they are fighting to, to reach the Challenger Series uh, in the end of the season. So this is the first real big event of the season and they all want to win this title. Yeah, yeah. as you said, big event, 3,000 WQS, we had uh, only like 1,000 uh, events uh, so far on the European leg where we've uh, so far going to Galicia, then to uh, New England, then to Lacano. So now it's uh, the battle for big points. And as you said, uh, with uh, potential qualification for the Challenger Series. So there's going to be points to grab for today and, uh, you know, big jump maybe on the rankings. As we can see the ski fixing the buoy for the day. There's going to be a lot of current, so the surfers will have to paddle a lot today. The, the current is pushing from the right side of your, of your screen to the left side. And all the girls are in position in order to start this heat. Yeah, we've given uh, the girls 25 minutes, uh, so plenty of time to, to find some uh, gems. It's going to be, you know, hard conditions to surf, but you know, it's building swell, so it's, it's plenty of opportunity out there and uh, hopefully we're going to see some big score right off uh, that first hit. Looking at our watch, it's not on yet. They're waiting for the uh, green light from the judging tower. Well, we do have a, a French surfer in this heat. I know Alice Yaga living not far from here, you said, yep. in Andai. But she trains a lot in Anglet shows. She has the, no the local knowledge. I would say, but don't forget Anat Lelior in red, up and, uh, not up and riding, but she'll be up and riding pretty soon. Yeah. She won the last edition of this event. Yeah, I mean, we're round of 16, so no, no easy hit now. Uh, all these girls, they are experienced. They've been on, uh, on the tour for quite a, a few years. Mafalda Lopez from Portugal will be a threat in this, uh, in this heat as well. Uh, we were talking about uh, French surfer, only uh, two, two uh, or three sur French surfer remaining in that uh, round of uh, 16 of the Rip Curl Pro Anglet, as you said, uh, and we got up and riding straight away. Uh, it was I know Aliesaga in blue, quick in and out, just. Uh, get in the fix, the you know, in the wax. Yes, same as some surfers that th they love to, to start first in the heat to, to get ready for the fight, you know. The, they prefer to surf an average wave and even if it's a low score, it, it opens the heat. Instead of sitting and waiting and maybe thinking, overthinking too much, this is the strategy, obviously, I know I took in this heat. And you, you've been coaching a lot of uh, young surfer and also older and what what will you sorry what will be your uh, advice on a day like this if you had the uh, you know uh, people you train on the beach what will be the strategy uh, considering the condition well uh, as we have someone surfing yeah this is Janire in white she he hit really strongly the the hit the the lip but unfortunately she does not recover from the hit yeah. Yes, I would recommend, of course, to stay in position at the right place on this uh, on this south bank because the current is pushing you really strong, uh, strongly away from the right zone. So to stay in position close to the jetty and, of course, to surf because 25 minutes, it's, qu it's quite long. You have time to surf. Uh, don't try to be too strategic. Just surf and then uh, step by step, maybe get some scores and once you have two average or two good scores, maybe wait a bit longer to, to pick the, the better waves. So that was uh, I know Alessaga first wave. 
quick turn and then uh, the, the wave dies on the inside and Janire there getting a little bit unstuck on that lip as you said and uh, you know falling with the incoming or downcoming lip unfortunately getting unstuck so no uh, major score so far with uh, 20 minutes uh, 22 minutes so plenty of time as Roma said you gotta be patient and uh, Mafalda Lopez quick hit there no uh, similar way for all the the, the girls Ainaita Leilor trying to get a, that second turn but you know as you said conditions are a bit tricky they need to adapt quickly it's always tricky anyway to, to serve that first hit of the day. Huh? It's tough because uh, judges are freshly walk, just freshly woke up also so you never know what to accept about the, the scores. Here we see that maybe the best maneuver of, the, of this hit also are not attacking the leap strongly but preferred to, to, uh, to stop to serve this wave and get back to the outside quickly. Uh, I think the strategy today would be to surf those bigger waves and give those strong turns instead of uh, surfing long waves and, uh, you know, doing combo of turns, uh, of medium turns. It okay. would be better maybe to, to, to attack the leap really strongly to get big scores. Uh, that's what tried, I think, Janire on this first ride also. She, f she felt, unfortunately, for her, but I think strong turns will, uh, will gain big scores today. So patient... Uh, girls need to be patient and with 25 minutes heat they got a plenty of time to find the gems out there so far no big score but as you said Romain uh, Mafalda Lopez with that good re-entry taking an early lead with a 4.5 which is uh, could be a keeper but uh, we'll see what uh, how that uh, heat plays uh, plays on but Definitely some wave and uh, uh, forecast as well looks good. I mean, we're going to have an increasing swell throughout the day. Yes, the wind w won't get stronger than this. Uh, the waves are going to be pumping all day long. At least it's surfable, you know, and uh, when it's really small, you, strategy comes into, into the game. Today we're going to see more surfing than strategy. So we, we're going we're gonna to watch a beautiful day of surfing and I think all the surfers are relieved from with the, with these kind of conditions yeah getting ready uh, for the next hit already hit two of the round of 16 and uh, there's gonna be in that uh, that's Ariane Ochoa and just prior was uh, Teresa Bonvalo one uh, of the top uh, European surfer at the moment, strong uh, Portuguese contingent this year on the on the tour. Yes, Teresa won uh, this event in Australia, the Challenger Series. Yeah, so she's one to watch today, of course. Yeah, looking good for uh, for a qualification, and uh, we got up and riding Janire, who so uh, been really strong surfer the last uh, few years, both on the WQS and the, the Pro Junior. So plenty of talent here, uh, a lovely view, aerial view of the pier of Anglet. Bit overcast, bit rainy today, but we had a really hot summer, so a lot of people are, you know, welcoming that uh, little bit of rain and a yes. little bit of, you know, cooler days. Yes, true. We do need rain, actually. Yeah, and uh, it's it's it's... A really nice setup for surfing. Anglet has been like a stronghold and a historical venue for French surfing. How does does this this pier play a, a role in the sandbank here, uh, Romain? Because you know this uh, these banks and uh, uh, inside out. Well, those those piers are made to keep the sand close to the beach, of course, and it creates those kind of waves with current, lateral current, as we see Anat Lelior attacking this first turn and then ending up with a nice re-entry. She controlled the turn all the way till the end. So this might be the best wave now of the hit. She'll try to, to take control of this hit. She's the most, let's say, experienced surfer. She's the oldest of, of also. But watch out because behind her she has young surfers 
with long teeth. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, really long teeth, and that was the first strong turn. Making sure she she uh, posted that second uh, turn, first uh, wave with two turns. So as you said, that could uh, put her straight in the lead, but good verticality and really managed to go beyond that water order to uh, to show the judge it's uh, it's controlled. Yeah, she has a really yeah, low gravity right. center and uh, she's an explosive surfer so those two ingredients today might be the the key to 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 reach the top the top scores and she got like uh, the top score uh, of that heat so far a 6.4 uh, Anat Layler on those uh, two turns to uh, backside turns you saw her paddling back to the beach and probably use the, the rip along the pier to uh, to go back out there quicker because uh, now you see the the girls are not sitting on their boats that that's definitely no. uh, an indication where uh, you know you have to fight that rip don't think you're going to be lazy today in the water you'll need to use your two arms and uh, non-stop and it's going to be even more intense with the the, the outgoing tide the, st the current will get stronger, which is not bad, you know, in terms of uh, also uh, strategy in the heat. You won't think about too much about your opponents. Yeah, okay. You will focus on, uh, on something. And do, does that tide affect how, how hollow the waves are? Uh, can, can we, like, have, like, some, you know, maybe barrels on, on, the, on the lower tide if uh, the, the banks uh, shape up? You, if you're lucky, you yeah. can get like a little, yes, cover, cover up. up. But I think today, yes, we're going to have like some really fast waves sucking up on the sand bank. And uh, as you can see, the waves are getting uh, hollower, as you said, Archie. And uh, it's going to be fun. But let's, let's stay, uh, I would say, let's adapt today to the changing tide. Uh, this is going to be the, the trickiest thing of the day to adapt your positioning and the way you're going to serve those waves. Yeah, it's been, a, you know, one of the key points about surfing in France, either in Anglet or in Rossegor. Yeah, I mean, uh, even uh, the guys from the World Tour coming to La Gravière or Cunu or Estagno, they have to uh, adapt and there's a l the luck factor. You know, on, the, on those banks, if you're sitting uh, one meter too deep or well on the shoulder, it could change the heat. And then we've got Mafalda Lopez surfing, the Portuguese, unfortunately, going down on that turn. I know Alessiaga. Yes, attacking yeah. this second turn. They're all surfing on their back end in this heat, so this is quite nice for the judges, I think to compare each waves and each uh, technique. Yeah. Uh, I know uh, did two turns on this last wave. She did push a bit, maybe too much on the back foot on this last turn, but at least it's a nice score uh, to open this hit for her. And Janire with a good looking wave there. First turn, there's a bit of a backwash on that wave. It's something mm. to, to take in consideration. Not easy uh, on your uh, on your uh, on your board there with the rip, a bit of backwash. Though. So as you said, Roma, you have to adapt to the condition and uh, get the best waves out there with uh, 13 and uh, minutes remaining. That's the last wave of surfing green, Mafalda Lopez. Yeah, unfortunately, she dig the nose uh, on this second turn, which is not the case with Ainoa. She ends up quite well on this one. And unfortunately, Janire, you can see she she's a bit struggling with those chops in the yeah. wave and here digging the rail during the bottom turn. So that's why staying low on your gravity, gravity center, yeah. as uh, Anat Lelia is doing it, is maybe something really important today to adapt to those chops, to the current. Uh, those waves are, are quite powerful. Yeah, be, be strong on your stance, and uh, that's what uh, might pay off today. Waiting on the last course, especially for Ainoa. So she jumps into third place. We only uh, sending the two first surfers to the next round. So, so far, Leilor and uh, Lopez are qualified. 
but still early days, plenty of time. It's uh, no big scores, but uh, that six point could be a, could be a keeper uh, for a night later. Yeah, even the, the first wave of Mafalda, the 4.5, is already a good score for what we saw from this uh, beginning of the hit. And no matter what, even if you have two low scores and make the hit, that's yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you only need to, to make the hit and uh, win the final. Exactly. Uh, it's going again for Janire. Bit of a better start than uh, our previous wave. Nice vertical. It's really, f you know, working on that way to try and to find a, an open face. But uh, wave selection, as you said, will be crucial. And uh, she uh, hasn't picked the best wave so far, Janirai. But uh, in her surfing, you, you can see how uh, deadly and uh, she can be really sharp, really smooth style. Yes, she's the actual uh, European ju junior champion. She's uh, she's really dangerous. She has a perfect technique, and uh, for now, I just think it was the warm up for her. She's gonna show her best surfing uh, at this point. Important hit also for for her in terms of uh, qualification for the challengers. Uh, we got that. Uh, Rip Curl Pro Anglet 3000, then uh, we're hoping to take the direction of the Azores. Then we got next year uh, the, the two other WQS early in the season, to, uh, and we'll, uh, we'll wrap up the WQS uh, ranking for the challenger. So uh, first 3000 of the season, so pressure is on really for, for those girls, uh, Roma. Yes, they so important, those, those strong QSs. Uh, I know many good surfers that were hoping to win this event that already lost earlier in the previous day as we are watching Ainoa tagging the leap and again with a second little re-entry she's gonna back up her first score. She actually needs a 2.48 which is well not that it. much. Yeah. Could see that the, she has the, that fighting spirit. She, the wave wasn't offering much, and she did well with that uh, first floater. And uh, we are gonna have the replay right now. Just good wave selection, maybe that no local knowledge playing uh, into uh, to account, and then managed to to do that re-entry. It's not gonna be a big score, but maybe enough to to jump into second place. Yeah, tough to ride this wave. It, there was a lot of white water and uh, bubbling all the way through, so uh, she did well, and uh, she will, uh, I think, huh? Yeah. And this this score. Yeah, she just got uh, a 2.93, so uh, puts her into second place with just uh, over nine minutes remaining. See, overcast in the Basque uh, country. Bit of rain, bit of onshore, but the waves are here. The swell is on the rise, so we're gonna have uh, action. Uh, full day of action, eight hour of uh, surfing. We have started with the lady. We'll continue with the man, and trying to push as far as we can on the on the on the contest uh, today. Yes, we're gonna have a. Uh better wind conditions on the on Saturday, Sunday, but the swell, as you said, is increasing, so we get the advantage of this growing swell today, even if it's not perfect, it's at least fun and uh, plenty of waves on offer, and those, uh, those regular surfers, I think, they're going to be pretty happy to surf some uh, sizable waves today, because yesterday they had to fight against uh, back-end surfers that could attack a bit more vertically and strongly the waves in small conditions. I think today, um, rail surfing with big calves also and airs will, uh, will be the option for the, those regular surfers. And uh, they need to watch out because we know some, uh, some really strong also uh, goofy surfers as Johan Duru. Uh, well, Anat Lillior is one of them also. Yeah, no, for sure. They'll be happy because from uh, the beginning of the season, you were in Galicia. Uh, we had like a uh, so-so wave with uh, one, one day of decent, uh, decent swell, but mostly small. 
Then we had uh, England, where the way were again uh, not that big. Lacano was uh, a bit better. It's really the the first event on the WQ European WQS that uh, has a, a bit more size. So just probably pleasing uh, the powerhouse surfer. You were talking about uh, Joanne Duru or or Leilor, but. Um, we got uh, also Ramsey Boukian, the, the guy from Morocco. So plenty of uh, strong and powerful surfers that will be happy to, to surf in, uh, in uh, bigger conditions. Yeah, definitely. And no more hustling in between surfers, I think, because of this current. Yeah. Yeah, and priority also plays a b the big role. I mean, I in your in your time when you were a competing surfer, maybe there was no m no much priority. <laughs> it was like, uh, and how that had this changed a lot the the the, the vibe or the atmosphere and the lineup or on the contest. The, yes, the fact that you can play with priority. It was a lot more aggressive back back in the days. Now it's more about surfing than blocking the other surfers as we see an attempt from Mafalda. So it was a, a lot of frustration sometimes when you couldn't surf because two guys were sitting uh, on your right and left side and you couldn't catch a wave. Nowadays, with those uh, priorities, it, it comes to surfing. Uh, if someone is blocking you, he's going to block you on one wave, then uh, yeah. the priority changes and you get the priority. So you have a, another chance to surf. So this is much better. It's a great de decision made by uh, the WSL uh, to give those surface priorities. Yeah, and as we see on that uh, aerial view, positioning will be key as we have a uh, surfer paddling. I know uh, oh, strong that was a really strong turn from the yes, she's going to be happy with this. You could see from the body language that she knows she hammered a, a great turn into the critical section of the wave or closing out. We're going to have this in replay, but definitely one move, Roma, probably for the, the best score of the day. Oh, definitely. And I think all the surfers competing today watching this hit will understand that strong moves even if there is only one turn in the wave can reach like a really high score she goes vertical strong she kept the control till the end so this is going to be uh, the best score to me uh, in this hit yeah she was already counting on a six point uh, so she's going to surely increase her lead in that first heat of the day as we see uh, next heat uh, warming up or even paddling out that's an important way for Janire she was sitting in fourth that's a nice combination of two turns she had a bit of a nightmare the the uh, surfer from the uh, Spanish Basque country but she will be you know back in the heat maybe with that uh, Last wave, four minutes remaining, bit of a suspense there. That's going to be tight. She needs a 4.36, actually, Janire in white. And she did a proper first turn. The, 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 the second one was a bit soft because of the, of the soft section also of the wave. But uh, this is going to be maybe her best wave. So let's see. Yeah, and we got scores also for Anaita Leilor. 8.5, so with a total of 14.5 and uh, with uh, only three minutes remaining. It looks good for the Israelian. But as you said, uh, Romain, we're waiting on that last score for Janire. She was after uh, 3.17. Oh, that just... No, I think uh, yeah. it's the new requirement. Okay, new requirement. So we got a 3.6 for the last of Janire. So that's not enough to leave the fourth position. Uh, the French surfer is still surviving this heat, but watch out because behind we have a young but experienced surfers, Mafalda and Janire, and uh, that's for sure. It's going to be a tight heat till the end. I know I'm surfing this one and maybe backing up a second score with this strong turn. Yeah. Uh, Janire going first right of the morning. No, that's not gonna doing it. Whoa! Ooh. Watch Good. out! Yeah, a lot of spray on this turn. Huh? Yeah, 
What was the requirement for Mafalda? It was a 2.26. That might well do it just on that first uh, turn, as you said, a lot of spray. Second one was not that great, but as we saw, it's not the quantity, it's the quality. Last wave for Ainoa, picking up the, some, some good, good waves. Uh, but then that turn probably will put uh, Ainoa on the third place and uh, Mafalda will jump onto the second place with one minute and uh, 52 seconds remaining. Yeah. So a uh, lot of tension, uh, yes. Roma, on that first uh, heat of the day. This is the qualifying series. We, we get use of it. And uh, I think Ainoa will improve her score with this last wave. Whoa, also Anat Lelior attacking front, front side this time. Uh, but unfortunately, this maneuver won't count. So we keep an eye on the scores as we suppose I know how to improve her score. So the requirement for Mafalda will get a little bit higher. Yeah. Yeah, waiting on those last scores. Judging are taking the time, 4.07. It's gonna be close. It looks like good for Mafalda. Just she needs a 3.4. We got those uh, five yes. judges in the tower. We're taking out uh, the lowest score and highest, and uh, three remaining. We're doing the the even, and it's a 4.77. So uh, judges appreciated the, the the quality of the turn, the spray, and the rail game of Mafalda. So now. Uh, we are in the money time, the last 30 seconds in this heat, with Janire trying her best. Unfortunately, yeah. she never found the rhythm no, in this no. heat. It was a bit of a, a shocker for uh, Janire, and uh, she's splashing the water. She knows she could have done way better oh. than this. She had the surfing to, to do uh, way better, so that's uh, definitely a disappointing performance from uh, the young surfer from the Spanish Basque Country. She won't be happy with herself, but uh, Leila and Lopez are through to the next uh, round. Unfortunately, bailing out uh, that uh, Rip Curl Pro Anglet on that first hit of the day uh, uh, I know Alessiaga, hit winner are there and uh, rightfully uh, with really strong uh, surfing aroma for um, Anat. Yes, and uh, she has a title to defend. Yeah. So she's uh, she's in the right place. Yeah, she she did that uh, big big uh, turn uh, on the backhand and then uh, she knew she did the the job. We saw also a good ride from her, so definitely the on-form surfer in this morning. Basic surfing. Take a big close out, do a really strong turn, and that's it. Yeah. As you said, like uh, that 8.5 was just a one-turn uh, wave, but what a turn. She can be happy, mm -hmm. and she is. Yeah, the, 